guys, Steve Petrato and James Haley here with the Blade team and today we're going to be talking about a very exciting product and that is the new Blade Theory XL Bind and Fly. Yep. So James, let's jump into this thing. This is a out of the box race quad that we've developed for you guys that are just not into FPV building. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of guys are out there, they want to get into drone racing or just freestyle or FPV in general. They want a good quad that can go fast and be versatile but you know what, at the end of the day they just don't have time to build. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, building it takes some time, and if you've never done before, it's a little bit of uh, overwhelming to yeah. start with. Uh, so this takes kind of the hassle. You get up flying right out of right away, and uh, you know, gets you up in the air with something that's pretty relative in the market today. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is a stretch stretched X frame. Yeah. Um, so it's going to have a very good handling characteristics on the racetrack and in freestyle. And you know, we'll we'll, we'll show you some clips of you know freestyle stuff. It's really good. It's got a ton of power out of the box. It's great for racing. All right, so let's jump into the power system of the Theory XL Bindfly. Yep. So we have 30 amp ESCs, right? Yep. Yeah, these are BL Heli uh, ESCs. Uh, pretty simple. You know, they can do the pass through through the flight control and everything. So if you want to change anything, you can do that. Uh, pretty standard. They have motor tabs, uh, which is pretty common today. So very easy to put on and off. Um, very simple. Yeah, those are just pre-soldered at the factory, so you're going to get it out of the box ready to go. On the motors, these are 2206, 2450 kV, so very common of what most racers are running these days, um, right out of the box. Again, the, the yeah. idea here is convenience. Yeah, it, uh, it's a good uh, equilibrium between power and flight time. You know, not everybody wants to be able to go super fast around racetracks. They kind of just want to go cruising sometimes. So. Uh, it's a good medium in between there. It allows you to have kind of that torque of the 2206 to carry the uh, GoPro and that kind of thing, uh, but also the 2450 if you do want to kind of get into the higher RPM uh, for going fast. Yeah, so great motor on there, lots of power. And these are our thrust motors or our thrust series motors from Blade. Now on the, on the flight control, uh, we've got an F3 board in there, right? Yeah, it's very similar to actually what's in the Torrent. Uh, just kind of laid out a little differently, so it still uses the same connector from the uh, uh, PDB. Uh, so very simple to swap out. It has the connector for the uh, 4649T, which is the receiver in here. Uh -huh. So everything's just plug and play. Uh, you do not have to, you know, unsolder anything uh, to swap it out if you needed to or uh, take it off for any reason. Yeah, so a nice setup there. And if you guys you see a close up on that, it's a nice stacked up uh, flight controller power distribution board setup. All right, so let's talk about the video transmitter and camera setup that you put into the Theory XL. Yeah, so it's a 200 milliwatt uh, VTX. Um, it's got a pit mode on it, so you can plug it in, change channels without blasting on somebody else's channel. Uh, it's got a 700 TVL CMOS camera, 2.8 millimeter lens, pretty standard out there. Uh, just a good combo to get you up and running. Yeah. Uh, it also fits a HS1177 option uh, or any kind of the newer uh, CCD cameras that have OSDs, that kind of feature. Uh, really good um, upgrade path for that. Omni antenna on there, so C yep. CP antenna. It's going to be. It's got our Spectrum antenna there. It's pretty durable. Obviously great for crashes and that sort of thing. You can swap it out to left hand or right hand. It's very standard exactly. there. Uh, you said already the 4649T uh, receiver. That's uh, our telemetry receiver. So you're going to get all of your voltage back to your radio. Yeah, it right? gives you RF performance. Gives you uh, pack voltage, which is really nice. Plug it in. Not sure which packs charged. Plug it in. Look at the radio, and away you go. Yep. All right, and then the battery we recommend for this is going to be a 1300 to 1500 size yeah. 4S pack. Uh, we've got our thrust batteries, our th uh, thrust series batteries from E-Flight. Um, these are great packs. We, we've been using the HV ones uh, lately, but this is a great pack for all around flying. If you need a little more flight time, of course, bump up to a 1500. And then other questions people ask is, you know, how do I mount my HD camera on there? Well, you know, this setup has a really clean top tray, and of course we've got our antenna posts here, but you can move all that out of the way. And we've got a, just a standard 40 degree, I think this is a 40 degree uh, GoPro mount and that can be strapped on the top and it, it carries a GoPro just fine from oh what yeah. I can see. I mean, the last time you flew with me, it was it's more than enough power. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's nice, easy, you know, most of the TPU uh, 3D printed uh, GoPro mounts are perfect for it. Uh, Session or even the GoPro Hero like four square uh, rectangular format works just fine as well. Yeah. So guys, that's pretty much it. That is the Theory XL Bindfly. It's going to be coming out of the box, ready to rock. It doesn't come with a battery, but everyone's got those um, for a great price. So. Definitely check this one out at your local hobby shops or at horizonhobby.com. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys.